Thanks for watching On Call for All Kids. Today we'll be talking about Halloween safety. We'll be discussing the safest ways to celebrate Halloween during the COVID-19 pandemic, the best options for masking with costumes, and general safety tips for what can often be one of the most dangerous nights of the year for kids. I am joined by Dr. Patrick Mularoni. He is an emergency medicine physician at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Great to see you again, Dr. Mularoni, to cover this very important topic. Hi, Ashley. So let's get into it. We are still in this COVID-19 pandemic. This leaves a lot of parents wondering, how do I handle this? Do we even celebrate Halloween? Well, absolutely. Children deserve to celebrate Halloween, and it's it's such a great holiday for families. And I think that your family has to make a decision what activities you're going to do and, and take into account, you know, the risk that your your family's willing to take. Some of the things that you need to think about is your own personal vaccination status and the contact that your child and your family are going to have in the, in the near future with somebody who may be medically vulnerable and may be more susceptible to the COVID-19 virus. You know, things that are absolutely the safest and you should think about doing with your kids are carving pumpkins and baking pumpkin seeds or decorating your house. Those are things you can do just with your family. Even sitting down and watching a movie, you know, there are great movies around Halloween. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown or Spookly the Square Pumpkin, or even for those older kids, they have the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. So some of those some of those holiday movies are something that you can do as a family to start to celebrate the Halloween uh, time now. What about typical trick-or-treating activity? Well, you know, we found out throughout the entire pandemic that outdoor activities are much safer than indoor activities. So trick-or-treating is absolutely safe, but you have to think about how to do it the correct way. You know, one of the things that families need to consider is trick-or-treating around their house or in smaller areas. You probably don't want to go to that street where everybody goes, where it's packed, because we've known that even in outdoor settings, when people are in close, close contact, the COVID-19 virus can spread. The other thing is those trunk or treating parties. You know, trunk or treating parties indoors, probably not a good idea. But outdoors, if we're if we're doing social distancing, then it's probably okay. The most important thing is to figure out for your own family what the risks are for your children, and then try and go out in small groups, maintain that social distancing, but you can still trick or treat. Now, if you're somebody that's gonna be handing out candy, that's something that you really need to consider. You know, you have a lot of these little ghouls and goblins who are under the age of 12. They haven't had the chance to become vaccinated yet. So thinking about a touchless system is probably the best way. And people have created awesome, ingenious systems, shooting candy at kids or putting them through tubes. But in, another easy way is to just place candy out on a table. But really, really consider those families that are coming to your house as well and try and practice social distancing while you're handing out candy. candy. I saw a lot of those cool inventions last year. I hope we see some of those this year as well. So should costumes be different this year? Well, yes and no. You know, Masking is still something that we should be doing, but you know, your child can dress up in any costume and pictures can be taken at home. Even thinking about having a Zoom party or getting a video link with, with family that might not even be in town to show them those costumes. Now, when you're thinking about going outdoors trick-or-treating, the CDC reminds us that those plastic masks or rubberized masks, the regular Halloween masks, are not the same as medical grade masks or cloth masks. And we should be thinking about in those kids that are unvaccinated that they should be masking during this act during this activity. You have to decide for your family what the best thing is to do, but the safest practice is to wear a mask when trick-or-treating this year. All right, so we've covered the COVID-19 pandemic precautions. Now let's just get into those general Halloween safety tips. What do you advise families? Yeah, well, this is something that I, I try to remind families of every year. The first one is that, you know, Halloween's on a Sunday this year. And often on a Sunday, we jump in our car and go and do our activities, but we need to remember that it's a crazy time with kids in the street, little kids darting across the street, just different rules to the road. So especially if you have a teen driver, you need to remind them to drive safely, especially around dusk. You know, the second thing that we need to think about um, is the candy. You know, often kids want a snack while they're out trick or treating. They get a candy bar, they're sitting in a wagon or they're, you know, they're reaching into their bag and they're grabbing those snacks. And we should have a rule that you should not be snacking on candy that you trick or treat with or receive from trick or treating until you get home. Why do you want to do that? Well, the first is because it keeps your kids' hands clean and their costume clean. But the second, it allows parents to actually inspect that candy, make sure it hasn't been opened or tampered with. 
And then the final thing is to eat candy in moderation. And that's for the kids out there. You know, everything in moderation is okay. But make sure, you know, it's a Sunday night. They should have some of their candy. Make sure they're brushing their teeth. And I know that on Monday morning when kids go back to school on November 1st, there's going to be a lot of teachers out there with sugared up kids. But the most important thing is to have fun as a family this Halloween. All right, Dr. Mularoni, thanks so much for joining us to talk about Halloween safety tips for this year. Thank you, Ashley. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, you can also visit our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. There you'll find a lot of great topics in pediatric healthcare and other great resources for your family. Happy Halloween and stay safe.